How's it going? Let's see. Today is check Thursday. <laughs> Welcome to the Brother Sewing page. Uh, we're on Facebook and YouTube live streaming. The Brother Brand Ambassadors are still taking over their page for the rest of the month. And I see a ton of you rolling in. So uh, welcome. Hey, Wolfpack, how's it going? It's a sunny, beautiful day in Michigan. If you've never been to our shows before, I'm Angela Wolf, and I have Laura Piper waiting down in the lobby for a second. We are going to be doing refashioning today, which is really fun. I did that last week in case you missed that. We added a zipper to a sweater. I'm just making sure. Hey, guys. So if you've never been to the show before, it's always fun to say hi. Say hi, say where you're from. I have watched so many people make friends on this show, which is awesome. So Brother Sewing and Crafting family, we are here to give you some creativity. So let's not wait any longer. If y'all can hear me, we're good. I see like the sign. I think we're good. Let's bring Laura on up here. Hey, Laura. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you doing today? I'm good, it's sunny here too in Georgia. <laughs> Very nice. Hey, Janet. No, this is, um, I made this top, by the way, on uh, It's So Easy. Janet asked Ooh. if I have a new pattern. I know. I act, I uh, pattern hacked my ruched tea into this. Isn't it I cute? That. I love that. Thanks, well, Janet, for noticing. <laughs> so, uh, hey, what have you been doing this last week? We had our refashion from last week. And I have to tell you, uh, my mom called right when we were finished. And she's like, I'm so upset. I said, Mom, why? And she said, because I gave away all those placemats and now I could have had five. Oh, you. Yeah. you could have given them to you. <laughs> That's what she said. I said, well, I didn't know. No, no, you just never know. You know, I, you know what? I became a hoarder though. And I started <laughs> saving everything. You know what I mean? I'd even save like my kids' old pants, like, I can do something with these one day. And it's like, eventually, it's like, I understand you got to get rid of stuff or you just collect, collect, collect. But then I'm like your mom, and I'm like, I shouldn't have got rid of that, you know? Uh-huh. That's what she said. So uh, I'm asking everybody that's here today, if you were here last week, have any of you made a bag like Laura did out of those um, placemats? Because that was really cute. Really cute. I almost did one today. I was gonna do the little roundy, you know, the little basket one. Oh, um, I saw that one on your Instagram. Hold on, I'll bring it up. I don't know if everybody saw this. Um, I have another one too. You, you were talking about it, and I think that I didn't bring it up to show. And I and right when I clicked off, I found it. So let me just show everybody before we get started on what we're working on today. I was going to do that one today, but I was like, oh, my husband was like, you already did a play that bag, the original. <laughs> <laughs> <It's very cute>. <laughs> All right. Let me just see, bring up your page here. Okay, guys, you ready? I'm going to share my screen real quick. Make sure I got the right screen on. Um, I think it's, there we go. There, uh, I love your Instagram page. In case you guys want to follow us, our Instagram pages are right above our head. She's at Trastic Couture. I'm Angela Wolf Fashion. This yeah. is that is so cute. I just did that one for the brother. That's kind of what we're doing today, but with a scarf. Oh, everybody's gonna love that. Okay, there's the bag. Isn't this it right here? Yep, that's it. And okay, place mat. What a good idea. I have. Hold on, I have another one. I just did. That's cute too. You always have, the, there's the bag from last week, in case you guys missed that. I just did this one. Ooh, wait, let me bring this, hold on a sec. Ooh, that's cute. Yeah, that's and you know, cute. I did little toggles for the closure. Oh um, yeah. And what I like about, I made this one smaller though, like I actually undid the, some of the, the, you know, the wicker, whatever, and made it a little smaller because that one, that one was kind of big. Um, and then, yeah, so maybe next week or another time we'll share how to do this and then use some, like, really good stabilizer right here. And, I mean, it is a good bag. Like, you could actually use this as a bag. <laughs> that would make a great bag for the beach or the boat. I yes. mean, I'm thinking, like, summers in <laughs> – that just looks fun. It is fun. And, like, it's kind of – I have – Fluffy stuff in here, but you know, then it's like in there you can put your stuff and you can, like you said, swim beach. And then I use this little toggle for the closure right here. And it's just fun, you know, like 
sometimes you gotta have fun stuff or what's the point of sewing? You know what I mean? Exactly. Okay, but I'm getting, because that inside is so nice and open, I'm just picturing like places for the bottled water, uh, <laughs> a little cooler bag. Sunscreen. Yep. And remember these are really in like the little wicker roundies. Maybe we'll do that next time. That sounds good. Well, so uh, today, you say what you're working on, and then I'll say what I'm working on. <laughs> so I'm going to do basically what Angela just showed you, and it's on the Brother So's blog as well, and it, they just posted it. Um, but I'm going to basically, because um, it is Thrifty Thursday, so I'm going to show you how to do this um, cover-up. We call it a duster, um, or you could call it like a kimono, just basically a cover-up, or a porch robe, whatever you want to call it. But um, I'm going to show you guys how to do it with a scarf. That's going to be so fun. Stacy or Cecilia, do you, um, she wants to know how to follow you if, if she doesn't have Instagram. Well, you're on Facebook. Yeah. Um, you can do, um, yeah, you know what I do? I actually, every time I post a photo on Instagram, I typically link it right to my Facebook. So yeah, you could just do it on my Facebook, follow me on my Facebook as well. And your website's trash isn't it? Yeah, it's just like everything that Angela wrote, it's like either .com or Facebook or Instagram, yeah. Okay, let me just see. I think I have your, I'll just put it down here so you guys can see this. Here you go. There's both, there's all three websites, Brothers Blog, <laughs> Brothers Blog, yours and mine. So yeah. you don't have to be on Instagram or any of those to find us. And also, uh, for the, I see a ton of people on YouTube today, which is awesome. And I know it's so fun to be able to be on both pages because I know a lot of people are switching their social up a little bit. So, well, I'm going to, okay, I actually had another plan. I have this sweater <laughs> that's in blue and I was going to add, this one was from last week, remember? Yeah, I love that. So, And I was going to do the blue one and add just a shorter zipper. Oh, but cool. Instead... Yesterday, I made this infinity scarf, okay. and I showed how to do the rolled hem, and I said, you know what, I think I'd really like to do the narrow hem on this instead, and I got like a whole, about 15 emails of everyone said, please show it on camera, so I'm going to actually show how to hem my scarf on camera today, and you can go back to yesterday's video to see how I did that, so mine's more of a tutorial, but uh, you could do this with other fabrics. So when you said you're doing that duster, I'm like, oh, forget it. I'll do the zipper next week. This will tie into your scarf as a way to finish a seam. Yeah, I like that. And then even for when I do the scarf, if you do finish, like, because you have to finish some of the seams, and you know how sometimes chiffon or knit, it's kind of, it's hard to finish sometimes nicely. And the rolled hem is a nice option. So you could do that on this as well. I agree. Hey, Sandy found you months ago on Instagram, and she loves seeing what you're doing. <laughs> Sandy. <laughs> Excellent. So if you want to watch this again, I know there's going to be people asking. You can watch the replay when we're over, and if you share it to your timeline, then it'll show up there, or you can come back to Brother Snows, or you can watch it on YouTube, whatever you want to do. Oh, by the way, somebody was asking me how to watch this on their TV, and I said, oh, there's a couple ways. If you watch it on YouTube, a lot of the – the smart TVs have a YouTube link now, but on my phone, if you have on your phone, it's called the mirror image. And I'll just show you what it looks like. Cause I showed it to somebody. They're like, I never knew I had that. And it's been on our phones for a long time, guys. <laughs> so let's see. Now I got to make sure I can find it and I'll show. Okay. Smart view is what it's called. So right there, and this is no affiliation of brother, by the way, but see that little thing, smart view. Oh, smart. <laughs> smart. If you have a smart TV and you click that smart view, it will actually take your entire phone or your tablet up onto the TV and you can use your phone and you can watch the Facebook Live right on there. That's what my husband does. I taught him how to do that and he's loving it. So isn't that cool? Yeah. Nope, it's on it's on just a smartphone. <laughs> Everything's smart today. So so on your phone, if you swipe down like in the settings. Okay. And you know, you have all these different things you could do, like Bluetooth and all that. Yeah. It's called Smart View and it's at the bottom. And it was even on my older phone too. I never knew this. And so, if you have a smart TV, you click Smart View and your TV will say, uh, like, your phone or your tablet wants to reflect yeah. on the TV and it shows up there. That's it. Okay, I'm going to use try that today. Yeah. So, all of you that want to watch this on your 
uh, TV. No, this is not. Um, yeah, it's a smartphone, but just check on your phone. I have a, um, a note is what I'm Mark. using. But you can message me later. So that's not affiliated with brother, but I just wanted to share that with you. So full disclosure. <laughs> All right. So Laura, you take over. You're first, girlfriend. Okay. So I'm going to, um, I have to move it over to here really quick. So give me a sec. Okay. I'll give you a sec to move your stuff around. I know, Susan. Technology, technology. So um, I brought my phone this time so you guys could see the photo. I told you that we had a, how many people did we have on that? Just while she's moving her furniture. Just to give you guys an idea of technology. So the Fashion Sewing Club, we had over 100 people go live on screen. Now you wanna talk about a fun time. It was just trying to test our technology, but we sure had a good time. I thought so at least. <laughs> and um, I would, I definitely could see though, that if you have over a hundred people live and then you have more on the phone that you have to do like a little more regimented program, but we, we just made it work and it was a lot of fun. All right, Laura, you ready for me? Yes, ma'am. All right, I'm gonna bring you up here. There you go, hey. Okay. Oh, it's kind of short, huh? Let's see. There you go. That's perfect. Is that better? Yeah. Okay. So what we're going to start with is you're going to have a scarf. And so I was talking to Angela earlier. I already, um, I already cut my center front and hemmed it because that would just take so long, and I don't, I don't like doing that. And um, hold on, let me just turn this a little bit because that light's in there. <laughs> it looks great. Your sewing room always looks so clean. <laughs> so, so I, you don't see the other side. <laughs> so I need to turn this around. Okay. Um, I've taken the house. I'm sure you get this, but I have literally taken over our whole house. <laughs> um, okay, so I bought this scarf and. It's about um, 76 inches um, long by 43 inches wide. And it's just one of those long scarves. I personally don't really wear scarves like this. So what I like about scarves, especially um, for beginning upcycling repurposing projects, is that everything's already finished. You have the finished edges, the finished bottom. Um, they usually have great fabrics that you can pick from. Some of them have some fun trims around them. So they're easy to upcycle in that sense. And that's kind of why I wanted to do um, this project today um, because also, you know, it's starting to warm up. The beaches and the pools are going to be hopefully open pretty soon where we can go out. And I always like a cover-up. And so I usually make my cover-ups from scarves. Um, so you'll begin with your scarf. And what I did already, so this is the wrong side. It's hard to tell, but this is the wrong side up on my dress form. Um, and I all, and I folded it in half. So like this, you know, so right sides are together and I made sure the bottoms matched and then I'll cut the center front up to the center right here of the scarf. Okay. 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 And then I add about two inches. So I'll cut maybe a little bit like two and a half to three inches more to give a little bit more for the neckline. If that makes sense. Um, because if you just did it halfway, then it would be shorter in the front, you know, because you need this width right here. Um, and this is all on the blog, so you guys can go follow this and see everything there as well. Um, and then um, what I did was I cut the center front, and I already hemmed the edges, just so you know. So that's what you'll do first with the scarf. Next, you see it's open, right? So we need to finish these side seams. Um, so what I do is I typically do about 10 to 13 inches of width right here for the arm opening. I like it drapey. Um, and then you're gonna stitch from the bottom hem up to this point, okay? Um, always start at the bottom hem. Just yeah. because, you know, if you start right here, you might, because we're not finishing the bottom, you're gonna um, kind of, you might be short a little bit. So we'll do that on both sides. We're going to just st stitch the side seams on both sides. So we're going to go over to the sewing machine again. Um, and again, we're going to leave about, I would say, 10 inches. So I'll measure that at the sewing machine. Um, and then I had it. I actually had it on, but it looks like, you know, these this material, my, it looks like it fell off, my pin. You know, uh, that, 
it's funny you say that because someone was just asking what fabric is that well, you could use many different kinds is what fabric is your is your scarf is that like a silk chiffon or it, it's definitely not as though it's like a chiffon it reminds me of a chiffon but it's not a chiffon i honestly don't know what it is because it's a um it's done it's like woven um but i, I oh. couldn't tell you the exact material so I'll have to find this episode for those of you that want to, because I have I made one very similar to that uh, from scratch. Now I didn't have the scarf, but I love that scarf. That makes it so much easier. And um, I used it was um, almost like a gauze. It, so it was it had a weave to it, but it was see through. It didn't wrinkle much. Um, it actually had a border on it. I found the fabric for really inexpensive. I'll see if I can find it. But um, yeah, but you can use silk chiffon, polyester chiffon, anything like that too. If you don't yeah. have a scarf. I know it's a good point. You can use fabric for this as well. Like um, again, and I, I think you're right. I think this is a god. It's some god blend. You know what I mean? Like I'm not sure though. You know yeah. how scarves are. I don't know what you're getting. Polyester. Yes. <laughs> We don't know. <laughs> that is so true. That is yeah. so true. So, um, now we're going to just go over our sewing machines and just um, stitch the side seams really quick. So I'm going to head over there. I got to move the camera, guys. All right. So I'm going to take you. Oops, I'm going to take you down for a second. And I'm going to bring up her um, this again, just so you can see a close up of this. So even if you don't have a scarf, if you someone asked how much fabric, well, you would measure from your neck all the way down to how long you want it and multiply that times two, depending on what size you are. So if you can fit across the fabric around your whole body, then you would just measure from your neck all the way down and you could get your front and back in there. But usually if you want it to be nice and full, you'd measure from your neck to how long you want it, multiply it times two, and then you'd have the front and then the back. And that's how much fabric you would need. And so let me just see when Laura's, that is really cute. You ready? Um, yeah, can you see well? Yes, we can okay. see. There we go. So now I'm just stitching these up on the side seams. And again, I started at the bottom just because I am doing, um, I'm using the bottom hem of the scarf already. And then you just, I'm just doing a half an inch seam on, but nothing crazy. And then I just stitch up to that point where the sleeve is. Um, I wasn't sure how it would be to do such a large project. You know what I mean? Right. On t on live, it's because you know you only have so much space. We don't, Laura. We have nothing else to do today except watch you. <laughs> oh, that's sweet. <laughs> well, my kids beg to differ. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You ask for one hour of your day to yourself, and they lose it. <laughs> yes, you can tell them and say amen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, Tina, you definitely can use silk fabric. And I pin this. I do have a little spa already done. You know when you when you have these like scarves, you know, and you're doing you don't have a step out because you only have one. <laughs> oh yeah. But I'm praying it turns out. <laughs> All right, so we got our 10 inches almost. Well, you have to either run out of bobbin or uh, mess up a few other things to catch up with my week this week, all right? Oh, no. <laughs> I'm just waiting for school to open back up. <laughs> <laughs> like everyone's like, what are you going to do in Corona? You know, this all this is over. And I'm like, is school open? Because that's the whole <laughs> thing I'm trying. <laughs> Oh, I, you know, I used to want to be a teacher and now I'm not so sure anymore. <laughs> Seriously, bless those teachers because it is insane. Okay. Oh, you know, we love you. She has a full-time job and she takes her lunch according to these lives. You're the best. <laughs> that made my day. <laughs> okay, so now I just did um, the side seams on both. I already finished the other one. And now we're going to go over, so just kind of keep in mind where, what you'll want to do, I'm not going to do this because, you know, we're live, but you'll want to try it on. You can do it on your dressing room too and find the waistline. Um, okay. You'll also want to make sure that it's at least two to three inches um, 
like below the sleeve, right? Like the underarm right here. Cause if you have it like accidentally right here, then it's like you're cutting right into your sleeve. So exactly. Yeah. So you want it to be about two or three inches under the sleeve. And then we're going to go over, I'm going to swap again, sorry. And then I'm going to go over to the cutting table. Sounds good. Hey, what machine are you on? Um, the SE1900. I thought so, but I wasn't positive. <laughs> okay, oh, cool. I do. <laughs> okay, I'll meet you over there. Sounds good. Thanks. All right, so if you guys want to see, I'm going to bring up her uh, page one more time. Let's see if I can just, one sec. I can in a minute. So you can see where you're going to put that for the tie. Now for the, um, you guys are still asking more questions about fabric. Anything, you know, like a gauze, a rayon would be fine. A rayon uh, wouldn't be a see-through though. The cool part of this one is that it's kind of like a, a see-through, great for um, the beach and stuff like that. L Lizzie said her doorbell is ringing and she told her that she wasn't home. Okay, that's hilarious. Okay, Laura, just yell when you're ready for me. Okay, I'm, I'm ready. Karen, we are making a kimono cover up out of a scarf, but you could also use a piece of fabric from your stash. So, all right, I'm gonna bring Laura up here. Here you go. It's so big, but I hope you guys can see it. Oh, it's so big. Oh, yeah. oh, okay. So, um, anyways, now what you're gonna do, we have, um, I'm gonna try and get it all nice and flat for you guys. Um, so now what you wanna do is you wanna make sure you have the waistline kind of figured out. Um, I pinned mine before, but it's kind of hard to see. I'm just trying to get this flat one sec, sorry. Okay, so now we've got to make the casing right here in the center. And what you can use, I'm going to use this mesh fabric because like Angela said, mine is um, already kind of a sheer material. So I don't want, I just personally don't want like some dark, you know, but you can use a dark material or um, you could use bias tape for this. Really anything works. I'm using this just because it's sheer and then it doesn't fray like the edges when I cut it. So therefore, I don't have to like finish the edges of this as well. Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes sense. Okay. And so you'll want to like measure out the, um, your, or, you know, find your, your center point. And what I like to do is I like to take um, the center or find that line that I had. And obviously, I've already done mine because it would be a lot more um, flat if I was doing this. Um, but you'll just, you know, you'll trace it out. I like to use just like a fabric marking tool and then I'll trace out that area um, just so, you know, I know where I'm sewing. You can pin it, but I just think it moves and then it's not as accurate, you know? And then you'll want to do it for the other side in the back. As well. So this is, this part is the most tedious, you know, cause you're, um, you're sewing all the way around the whole entire kimono, but it really makes a difference in my opinion on the way the overall fit is, you know? Um, so yeah, just mark it, make sure you have your markings. Um, I already did my other it would be flat, you know what I mean? Well, and also just for, I see a ton of people rolling in and Fred, uh, Connie, you are hilarious. I'm reading these comments. So, um, but she has this on her blog too. So, you know, this is just a, a live tutorial where you can ask questions and then she has this on her blog. Are they confused? <laughs> nope. I just wanted to make sure that the ones rolling in that understood that they can see that because your pictures are always awesome. Yeah, this one we just did on the Brothers Says Vlog. The only difference that we are changing on this is that we're using a scarf for Thrifty Thursday. You know, I'm sure yep. you all have those scarves at the house that you're just like, you know what I mean? Like don't really need anymore or you don't, I don't know, I don't really use these big scarves. You know what I mean? Like it's one thing that one wraps around your neck, right? Like these huge ones, it's like what's your purpose? <laughs> Um, and then what you'll do is, so you'll want to pin this. And you know what I like to do? I know it's kind of hard to see because the front. So I'm hoping you're not having a problem seeing. Um, so this is the front. And, and that you know, the blog is all nice. And you'll see what's going on, too, as well. Um, but you'll just kind of want to pin these down a little bit. And so the goal is to get it over that line that I just did, like, right to have the line in the center. Um, that way it's even, you know what I mean? All the way across. And you'll also want to do this for the back and you can see the back right here. I've already done. Can you see that? Yep. We sure can. And then just, you know, do the front and then just do this. 
this done really quick. Make sure it's not. And then we'll sew this flat. That's what I did the back. It, the, this part kind of takes a little bit of time. Ain't nobody want to watch you sew for five hours. <laughs> <laughs> oh, me. I don't know. It's kind of hard to see this one. All right. So now I am ready to go to my sewing machine and I'm going to sit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew the top part right here along the edge and then the, the bottom as well. And you're going to go all the way around. So what you do is start with either side, the top or the bottom. There's no right or wrong. So let's head back over to the sewing machine. <laughs> Okie doke. I'm um, just checking. Did you do this on the brother blog or did you do it on um, your own blog for this one? Oh, I did it on the brother blog. Okay. I'll have to find that one so I can bring it up. Well, actually, here's the website, you guys. Yeah, it's like, I think it's the first one. We just posted it. That would be good. Yeah. And then I'm going to just get this set up super quick. So we can see you. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So I'm trying to figure out which side I want to sew first. Um, so we're going to. Are you sewing from the, you're sewing from the outside, right? Not the inside. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we are, for the casing, we're on the wrong side. On the wrong side. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. I was wrong. <laughs> yeah. We want this kind of hidden, right? This little. Yeah. Thing. We want this hidden. So let's just do, I'm going to start with the bottom part first. And okay. Stitching this, and I call it kind of a casing, but it, it's just basically the drawstring, you know, area. So I'm just going to sew that really quick over. And you'll want to do both sides. And just, yeah, go over the, the seam. Can you guys see? Okay. Yep. Good. We can see great. Sometimes my hand is like right <laughs> over the camera. <laughs> I have these long, like alien like hands. <laughs> I know, I'm always like, I'm like an alien. And you, this, you know, this doesn't have to be perfect. Like, you don't have to, like, worry about if it's puckering or whatever because you're going to be putting, like, a draw, drawstring through anyway. So I don't really stress about that, you know. And then if you wanted to, you could always finish the edges of the um, casing right there. But I just am going to cut mine because, again, it's mesh. Um, and then you'll go back, and then you'll do this side do the other part. And again, I already did the back just so I wasn't doing that the whole time, you know? Plus, I'll bring that. And then I have the blog down there, you guys. You can see blog.brothersos.com if you want to see all the beautiful pictures and sew along. Yeah, and you know, this, um, I forgot to tell us, but this, I forgot to tell you guys, but this is about an inch and a quarter wide. Um, but you could, like I said, use really anything. Hi, Joanne. And then I'll do the other side super quick. So we got that part done again. You would honestly sew it all the way around, and that would just take a long time. I didn't want to do that, you know, the whole entire time on screen. Um, Melissa, upcycling a scarf. So she's using this was a scarf, is what she had in her stash, and she's turning it into a kimono. Yeah. And we're almost done. We just need to finish this part and then. You just put a drawstring through, basically. All right, so we'll just do this last little area. And again, I, you know, I didn't really, um, I don't really care to pin it because I'm just following that line, and I know it's so hard for you guys to see it. Um, but there, I have that line that I just drew on here, so I'm just keeping this fabric right over that line, if that makes sense. Thank you, Sharon, for posting that. Thank you, thank you. Almost done. Just gotta do that one more side. Aren't you glad I did the back? <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine? Guys, hold on, I need an hour. <laughs> <laughs> I always like to make my 
live quick, but it's also like you want it to be good too. You know what I mean? Right. And, and we're not, not Instagram, Facebook. You could sit here for hours. <laughs> I'm not used to that. I'm used to like the 15 seconds you get on Instagram. Like, Hurry up and see it in 15 seconds. <laughs> so my sewing's not perfect right now, but like I said, it doesn't really matter because this is kind of hidden. All right, coming to the end. And I'm just going like right along the edge of that, about a quarter inch seam allowance. Hey, Laura, did your did your mess, mesh, <laughs> say that fast, did your mesh come in a strip or did you cut it? I cut it. Okay. Yeah, so see, you can see the it's sewn. Is that, you guys see that? Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's, what a great idea. And it's so easy to, to use, you can't see it. And yeah, and it's like I said, if it's, it, you know, here's the back side. And it's okay if it's a little bit off, like, because you're going to put a drawstring through it now. So now, all you do, and I'll show it on the dress room so you guys can see, but you don't need to see that right now, because what you'll do, now this is a little tedious, too. <laughs> um, so you get a little drawstring, right? And you'll just do the safety pin, and you'll, you know, weave it through the little casing that we just made. Um, Gwen, I, Gwen's daughter wants five adult beach cover-ups and cheetah print. Gwen, I'm so sorry about that. I, I was moving my furniture. Oh, no. <laughs> it will be the easiest way. You just got to find the cheetah print scarves. <laughs> All right. Is that good? Yeah. Okay. So now, yeah, all you do, get some cheetah print scarves. I'm sure there's tons. Or what is it? The, um the leopard print or I mean you really couldn't can't go wrong like at the blog when I did the lace one or, or in the chevron one so I'm all I'm doing now is you take this and we can chit chat Angela while I do this is um I, <laughs> I take a safety pin and I just weave it through the casing Glenda you're so bad she's using a safety pin so when I was trying to do that with my pajama pants a few weeks ago on live I couldn't find a safety pin I couldn't find <laughs> I couldn't find a bodkin. I couldn't find anything. Oh, no. And, and so I had to use a paper clip. And the ironic part is I was trying to make it a really easy project. And usually I would already insert the elastic in while I'm sewing, but I didn't so people could see it. So everybody yeah. got to see me use the uh, paper clip. So in case you don't have, <laughs> you got to be creative. Did it work? <laughs> mm-hmm. It did. You know what is so funny? I was like literally stressing. I better make sure that I have a safety pin because if I can't find one during this live and I'm like, hold on, I need an hour <laughs> to find a safety pin, that would not be good. Linda, I could OD on watching all these projects and never actually accomplish anything. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> you know what? I just... I think because I have three kids and time is so limited, I just, I do just love to sew just in general. It's kind of like, you know how people like to like their, whatever they do to get, you know, just, oh, hold on. I wasn't paying attention and it went through something. Um, <laughs> I like to um, do projects like that are quick and easy so I still get it in but I'm not like taking all my day to like sew a garment. And there's time and place for those kinds, but sometimes you just gotta get, you know, a little quick sewing sewing project in. I agree. Well, while you're starting to pull that through, do you want me to start um, hemming my scarf? Yeah. Cause look at, I'm like, I actually went through the back. What? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you all know that this is live, right? I know. Wait, I just, I just saw something. But uh, yeah, I told, I'm, I'm told, fun. I said I'm, I had step out to the car. <laughs> I'm reading the comments. <laughs> oh no! Oh, Anne is done by. Is that what the closed captioning wrote? That is so funny. I had no idea. <laughs> okay, how about the one that they? Um, 
All right, I'll go to mine. You uh, hang out for a minute and I will go. Actually, I'm going to a different camera. Okay. So in case you missed this from yesterday, this is the infinity scarf. And you can see, you can go back and watch yesterday's video, but basically you have one piece of fabric and you twist it. And now I've already sewn the seam and I did this on yesterday's video. So you can go back and watch yesterday's on Facebook, okay? Now, when I go to search, I already showed how to use the rolled hem. I'll scoot down. And today, I, I told you I prefer the narrow rolled hem, and I'll show you why. But when you start stitching, the reason you say infinity is when I start, I'll keep going around this entire scarf, but it comes all the way to the end because we twisted it. It's like magic. So let me take you to a different camera. Mm, how about maybe not that camera? Hold on a second. <laughs> <laughs> I just bought a new camera and I think it's on demo mode. Hold on a second. All right, Laura. You're coming up with me for a second because I'm on demo mode. I got to just okay. my That's okay. Almost done, guys. Finally. Did it. Did you get it all done? Yeah, but you know it would be bad if when I did earlier, they pulled it through the other side. Have you done that? Yes, um, I have. Mm -hmm. Hey, let me okay. think. Let's go to that first, and then I'll um, and then I'll show it on the dress form. Okay, now we're back. So, make sure my volume's on. All these little testy things. Oh, here. Oh goodness gracious! Hold on one second. I'm bringing you back up for a second. Look, I I just gotta fix something. Okay. One more thing. One more setting. All right, guys, so I did get it through the casing. I'm just going to clip these right here, and then you'll tie it in the center. Else, it's kind of weird to see, but let me tie it really quick so you can see. Okay. Okay, good. Now I'm ready. <laughs> All right, I'm leaving you. I'll leave you down for a second. All right, guys, let's go back to the machine. Now, if you miss this, I'm not doing the whole tutorial from yesterday, so you're just going to have to go back and watch that, all right? But I have my serger, and it's set up for a rolled hem right now. And this is what we did yesterday if you want to go back and watch. This will go on my blog tomorrow. On my blog today, I put everything for the apron sew along. So if you go to AngelaWolf.com, you'll see that. Um, I'll put this up um, maybe tomorrow. Okie doke. That was the rolled hem. So let me just bring this a little bit closer. There we go. I'm not using my normal equipment, okay? <laughs> it's being used right now for something else. So the settings from yesterday uh, for the rolled hem were a little bit different. And I, you have to look in your manual. For the rolled hem, these are the settings that we used for yesterday. And I'm using the brother serger, so you have to check yours. So the only difference, really, we took out our stitch finger. I'm going to change the stitch length to a 2.0 instead of the rolled hem. So it's just a smidgen longer than the rolled hem. The other thing is on for the tensions, for the needle is a 4. That's what I used yesterday. And then the upper looper is a 5. That's what we had yesterday. The only difference is yesterday, our lower looper was a 7. And today, for a narrow overlock stitch, it's a five. So that's the only thing I'm changing from yesterday. That and the, and the length. So we're going to start at the back seam. And this is pretty much like watching grass grow, all right? So <laughs> I'm going to start with the needle in the up position, slide the fabric in. And I'm going to do this while I'm standing up, <laughs> leaning over. So let's just... Uh, Keep our fingers crossed, all right, that this works. There you go. Can you see okay, everybody? Yeah, it looks great. Okay, cool. All right. Oh, I guess it would help if I turn the machine on. There we go. <laughs> now again, like yesterday, because this is silk chiffon or silk charmeuse, I have to push my fabric back this way just to get it to work. And I'm just going to go a little way, a little ways, and make sure that my stitch is showing up on here. 
and it is. I'll bring you guys closer in just a second, all right? But you're gonna be amazed how close this looks to a rolled hem, but it's just a little bit different. I'm just using regular serger thread. Now I mentioned that I'd probably use Wooly Poly in the lower looper. I didn't change it to that, so for now, this is what I'm using. yell if my arms get in the way. I know my serger is a little bit loud. Can you make this from cotton? Someone Can I asked, what? Someone asked if you could make this from cotton. Oh yeah, you absolutely. You could do this from with cotton. Uh, you could do this with a knit, except uh, then you'd do a, like a lettuce edge. That'd look really pretty. You could also use your scarf that you had there, Laura. Just say you didn't need the whole thing and you had an extra batch at the bottom. Cut it off. This is about 14 inches wide, this whole thing. So, wow. well, I should say 14 inches wide, but it's about 50 inches long. I'm like a speed demon. One more thing I want to point out, if you look at the edge of this scarf, if you make sure that you're trimming off the fabric while you're serging it, um, it's a lot easier than your stitch won't fall off. But look at how gorgeous that looks. Oh my gosh. Oh, I can wow. And there's my lipstick from yesterday because <laughs> someone asked me to try it on and I got a nice little lipstick mark on there. <laughs> that always happens, huh? <laughs> oh, I know. Thankfully, I, I washed the silk first because I was going to use it more for like a scarf kind of. And um, so now I can just throw it in the wash. A place like if you're going to the scarf, um, is there a specific place that you would place it or is it anything goes? The scarf? Yeah, if you wanted to monogram that with some embroidery. I would probably put it, um, oh gosh, anywhere really, because when it's twisted, it well, for this one, if you added that though, you'd want to have this enclosed, an enclosed scarf, so you wouldn't see the stabilizer. Uh, this one is not enclosed, so it'd be a little tricky. All right, I told you guys yesterday this was boring, but I'll keep going. <laughs> Not boring the egg. Nope, I'm halfway. I will tell you though, this is good exercise because I'm kind of like leaning over, <laughs> balance behind the camera. <laughs> I'm getting my um, my leg exercise in today. <laughs> Realize how awkward you sew when you're like when you have a camera next to you. Like don't move and sew like this. <laughs> it's our new workout. Right. This is stitch is this, Angela? Someone asked that. Uh, this you is a this is a narrow overlock stitch. Yesterday I showed the rolled hemming stitch. Those are so cute. I'm sorry, did you ask me one more? Someone said your nails look so great. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> I yes. think it was yesterday. <laughs> All right, I'm almost getting there. <laughs> My leg is taking <laughs> I should have one more camera so you could just see how I'm how I'm standing right now and you all would just be crying so hard. Again, those of you that missed yesterday's, I'm pushing the fabric this way to keep it because it's slippery. Now, if you have any problems with the, uh, oh, we're almost done, getting there, uh, with the, the thread falling off, things like that, uh, you could use an embroidery stabilizer. I mentioned that yesterday. 
If you have any problems with this snagging your fabric, especially something as fine as the silk charmeuse, I would switch to a new needle and maybe go to something like a 12, a size 12 or a 10. New needles really do wonders, you know? Whew, are we getting there? All yeah. right. <laughs> I hate to know what auto what auto correct is gonna say now. <laughs> now I know where they get the alien sound from for the movies. <laughs> <laughs> Try to get my shoulder out of the way. Okay, we're getting to the end. Yay! <laughs> I had to laugh though yesterday when they're like, you didn't show everything. I thought this could take forever, but you can skip ahead if you didn't want to watch this part. But wait, they can't. Notice, Laura, I put you last, so they have to wait. <laughs> so no. Good idea. <laughs> All right, so now I'm getting to the end, and I'm going to bring this in closer so you can see, because this part, I think, is what you guys wanted to see. So I'm getting close to the end. Well, I'm at the end, I should say. Whoa. I'm not liking this little thing. So this is the end. Where This is where we started, and that was the end. So I'm going to cut off this thread this is the thread. I'm going to cut that off and then I'm going to stitch just past that just a little bit, but be careful not to trim off any of that um, previous thread. Okay. All right, get my foot. And then when I get, I've gone over maybe about an inch from where I started, put your needle in the up position, lift up and just give this a little tug and look at Wow. Doesn't that look great? And you will hardly know where you stop. And that's right at the seam. And I'm just going to trim that. Actually, I'm just going to go ahead and pull that out and surge it, chain off. And then what I'll do is I'll take this, let's see which way, this way. And I can tie these threads into a knot and then trim that. And that's what the end looks like. So this is how stitching looks. Doesn't it look great? It looks so pretty. And you know, like you said, that would be great finish on like even this what project that we just did. It sure would. And you know, when you're using something like a gauze, the over the narrow overlock stitch, let me take this out just a little bit. The narrow overlock is just a little bit wider than yesterday's rolled hem. I know they look almost exactly the same, but they're not. So, all right. Love that. Mission accomplished. Okay, I'm bringing you up. Okay, so it's oh, let's see. Oh, look how cute that is! Yeah, and it like what it took us, it would maybe take us like 20 minutes, and you just tie it in the center right here. So, you know, here's the center, um, the casing that we did, and you just tie it right here. And you know, it's fun too. I won't show you on camera, but you could do like a fun trim, um, do, like a fringe at the bottom if you wanted, like do a little boho kind of look. Um, oh, that would be cute. Even like on the sleeves, you know what I mean? If you really want to go all out. <laughs> that would be very cute. Everybody's yeah, saying yeah. Ador adorable. It is adorable. And if you go to her Instagram or the blog .brother sews, you can see her wearing it. I think I have, I'll bring it back up here. Yeah, I, yep, I have them up. It's on the brother blog. Um, and I also, I have them on hangers. I mean, it looks so different on hangers, but here's a long version. Oh, um, yeah. Oh, I like that. They call this a duster when it's like um, super like long, I guess, because it's probably you dust the floor. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds good. <laughs> you can with your, your lace. Okay. Um, I like this because it's like you could still wear like shorts and like a tank top underneath it. Um, if you're like, say if you're vacationing in like Florida or something. Right. You, that, you know. Um, and then here's another version. This is also on the brother blog. Right oh, Sharon said that would be great for wedding night. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. Love that. Oh, yeah. 
And then this one right here we did on the brother blog as well. And it's similar. Oh. Um, here, let me move this over a little bit. Um, oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. Yeah, and these are all scarves, you know? Oh. Um, yeah, and the difference between this one is there's no center front. Um, like the, but we still do the drawstring in the middle, and then we just add a little eyelet to tie it. That's so gorgeous. it's worn like it's worn like this, you know. And then it doesn't have that. Obviously, I like beach stuff because I go to the, I live in the south, and we just we go to the beach. That's what we do out here. We for fun, we go to the beach or the pool <laughs> or the pool. Like we're we like laying out and being hot. <laughs> I'm going to bring up, here's your one where she's wearing it. I know everyone's like, tell her to put it on. This is what it looks like. Yeah. Take off that one. Oh, my gosh. That's gorgeous. Yeah, it, it, that one's really pretty on. It does. And then we did the chiffon one. And they're really easy. Yeah, I think it's the first um, photo. Yeah. This one? Yeah. yeah. And that one's the chiffon version. But and you know what's really cool is this is such um, – it's such a cool style, and usually you always think of that as being dressed up, but you make it look so, sh is it chic? <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, but you know, my style is super casual, because I think about kids, like, I don't dress up a ton, but when I do, it's like something like that, where it's like an over, something that's unique and different, but I still have, you know, shorts and flip-flops on, so I can run around. <laughs> yeah, very nice. Um, so if you guys have questions on where she bought scarves and stuff, you can message her cause, um, she could share that or maybe, you know, she could, I, I, I there's probably lots of places, but oh. I wanted, someone asked you, um, it was one. Oh, curious how much those cost to make. Well, it just really depends on how much she paid for the scarf. That's yeah, what I've gotten scarves for a dollar. Oh my gosh. I want to go shopping with you. Yeah, yeah, go to the clearance section in most stores and you can find scarves. Honestly, what I like about scarves right now, although fabric stores are starting to open, at least here, um, but what I like about scarves is you can find them in most locations, like, you know, your typical, you know, your typical stores. Um, and they have them, and a lot of times they are on clearance racks and stuff like that. So just get a big one and, and guess what? If it's under $3 and you make a mistake, whoop de doo <laughs> Yeah, then it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's good. I like those jean shirts and saying, I don't wear this one often. Um, I probably would wear it to the beach as a cover up, but I would probably shorten it. You know what I mean? I don't like the idea of tripping. <laughs> right. So did you, and I'll, I'll, I will show you the serger again, uh, Shirley. Um, did, someone was asking, well, you guys have a lot of questions today. I'm scrolling through these. Um, you. Did you use a scarf or tablecloth to up, upcycle the white lace one? Oh, this one? This is just like, this is just fabric by the yard. But you know what? You could have used like, this would be a great like lace, old lace curtain, for example. Or, yeah. uh, right? Tablecloth, something yeah. long. Yeah, you could totally do that. It does. It looks like a tablecloth. <laughs> yeah, so Ellen. <laughs> She just used fabric for that one, but it would be the same process because the scarf is just one long piece too. So yeah, definitely. And this is the same version, just different materials. You're seeing oh, thanks, Margaret. The difference. You know what I mean? Oh wait, here. Margaret says if she makes one, will she look as gorgeous as you? <laughs> yes, absolutely, Margaret. You will. <laughs> up now, okay? Yeah. All right. So someone wanted another look at the surgery. I'll just walk you back over there real quick. So oops, wrong one. I'll leave you there, Laura. So you can answer questions for me while I bring this up. But you know, here's the serger. Now this one, this serger is really kind of old. I mean, I've had it for a long time. It's one of my favorites. I've had um, there. You can get at your dealer the pace setter one, which is a great one. But this was the uh, five two three four PRW, and so this is what I'm using. And these were the settings I changed four four five five. That was for, and it's in the manual, by the way. And then I also changed the setting on the side and I changed this to a two instead of yesterday we had it at R today. I changed it to two. So you can go back and watch that video from yesterday. It's on the brother Facebook and YouTube page and I'll put it on my blog at AngelaWolf.com. I'll do it tomorrow or tonight if I'm bored. 
which I'm sure doesn't happen very often, but. <laughs> oh, and if you want to see this, so I'll put this on my little lady here. This is my Shirley. Yeah. One sec, I'm gonna grab my cord. Sure, this is my Shirley um, dress form. So this is the infinity scarf and look at how beautiful the edges look on this. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. Oh, I love it. I love silk shirt. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's a pretty fabric. What is it, silk charmeuse? Yeah. Silk charmeuse. And wow. then just and wrap it twice around. And so you can have it longer or tighter up against your face. When I put it on yesterday, I could get it just tight enough that I could actually use it just to cover my face if I was running some errands. I mean, it's um, not medical approved, but it works. For <laughs> right. <laughs> I love that. And you know, that would be a great finish for um, these, if you did that for, yes. kind of, you know what I mean? Absolutely. And <laughs> I must have like been laughing. I smudged my glasses. <laughs> Um, it would be great on that. And the other thing is if somebody wanted, when I do that narrow overlock, another trick is if you're using like a gauze or something like that, where, um, the fabric kind of pulls apart a little bit, if you use a rolled hem or a narrow overlock, sometimes it will pull the pieces, the fibers of your fabric off and it'll, it, it looks awful. So right. a little trick is to do the narrow overlock with everything I just showed you, except use the left needle. It makes it just a little bit wider and it is gorgeous. I'll try that on a project next week. You're so good at the serger. Like you have such I, love, good I love the serger. <laughs> One of the first ways I discovered Angela was like, I was looking for a, how to thread the serger, <laughs> the brother serger, like I had just gotten it. And I was like, this lady is great. Like I just love it. <laughs> you were like, helping us because you wouldn't think I'm like what up this man well, I'm confused you know what I mean <laughs> you're the best I still to this day like I have yours on like favorites on my YouTube like history, you know and I'm like even now I'm like I'm I have to re-thread my serger or my cover stitch machine and I'm like go right to it <laughs> awesome um, it right <laughs> and I still I still have all those videos up there so you guys can go to my YouTube so uh, first before we left I just wanted to show you Laura's uh, blog real quick oops here you are oh here we go um so this is trash to couture this is her blog if you want to see she's got a ton of things on here oh my gosh how oh, cute yeah. is that <laughs> I did and some it's a lot of face masks right now, just considering the situation we're going through in life. So it's usually a lot of fun stuff like this. Like that's embroidery on a cardigan. That um, is great. That would look good on the, the one I did here. That would look great on there. Really yeah. That's, that's and so she's got a ton of fun stuff on there. There's her Instagram. And then here is my blog. If you look on here, um, I put everything for the apron sew along and a link to Molly's pattern. You can use any pattern. This is coming up in a couple weeks, which we're all going to be sharing on. So you can visit yeah. us all over there, which we love it when you do. And then you can leave us notes. So bye, Liz. Nice to see you. Um, everybody's saying thank you. Thank you. So Laura, um, I cannot hardly wait till our next uh, challenge for what we're going to put together. Yeah, we're, we were thinking that we should do themes. Like maybe you guys can, we'll give them like a week before and maybe you guys can join along like we'll just do like something like someday like a, a t-shirt guys bring a extra extra large t-shirt or something like that yeah right wouldn't that be fun so they can that would be great so i was thinking laura what we should do is we should do a instagram live uh sometime we'll let everybody know when and then we'll ask them what they want our theme to be and we'll take a vote let's do that i think, I think that's that a good would, idea that would be a lot, a lot of these on Instagram a lot of them are but you know what you guys could leave a vote here on um, in the messages here or you could also message us or maybe we should just do a fun one and just say okay guys what should we recycle <laughs> refashion you can just ask the question you leave the comment <laughs> everyone says a t-shirt would be great well here's the thing <laughs> I I'm gonna have to leave it to them because I or you I would have yeah. never well, you are the queen of refashioning i would have never in a million years looked at any of those placemats and did what you did <laughs> that, they call me trash to couture for a reason <laughs> i think it's awesome yeah. what happened was when i was young my mom got so sick of like you know going to the fabric store for me for my sewing habit 
you know, that's what I called, they called it back then. They didn't know that I was going to just continue on with this forever. <laughs> um, so I eventually I was like, I got to find a way to sew my project. So I just started like taking whatever the, you know, clothing bin, people didn't want anymore. And I just became like, that's kind of how I learned to sew. One of my first sewing projects was, this is so funny, an airline blanket, like, you know, the fleece airline blanket into a... <laughs> <laughs> you did? Yeah, I made it into a air, an airline blanket from like, you know, whatever flight we were on, probably something my dad got. And I had a project that we had to sew at school. I was maybe 11 and I brought that to school and I sewed a fleece vest with an airline blanket. I know. It's like that little thing, you know, and I wish I had it to this day because it's like, that was my start. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's very cool, though. Yeah. Well, I think the first thing I ever sewed, and that's kind of like almost, well, maybe not. <laughs> I was in high school, and I'm the oldest of five kids. And so I went to my mom's stash, and I took out this beautiful red fabric. I knew nothing about fabric. I just loved the color. It didn't stretch. It was a polyester. Um, well, I didn't know. So I laid on the fabric. I knew I wanted a dress, and my sisters chalked me out like a crime scene. And I cut it out, and I kept fitting it on, fitting it on. And I had this thing so fitted that, I mean, I could wear it, but it was like, you know, knock your shoulders yeah. out to get it on. And, yeah. but it was one of my, I wish I would have kept it. It was such oh. a precious. Oh, it was so cute. I wish, I do, I wish I kept those things. Yeah, I me too. I'm all out. But you know, my dad's old shirts, like, you know, oh, dad, do you want those anymore? Get no! <laughs> <laughs> You're for five hours. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Well, I hope you have a great day. I can't believe the kids haven't come in to, to take you away yet. Oh, I just heard my kid coming down. He's like, oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for the awesome project, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Oh, yeah. We'll connect soon. Thanks for having me. Yes, and everyone, don't forget, you can enter to win a Brother's sewing machine. I put the link on my blog now. So if you go to AngelaWolf.com, go on the blog. Underneath the apron, it says you can enter here. But tomorrow, we're giving away another Brother's sewing machine. Wow. And I, because you left a comment here, you're entered, and you can also enter there every single day. There's a lot of opportunities to win these machines, which is awesome. Yeah. So, hey, thanks, Jenny. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Have a good one. All right, bye everyone.